Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a custom cover for the inside of your RV doghouse. This is your engine compartment. As you can see, mine is straight fiberglass. It has carpet on the outside where it's inside our cabin area. And um, what I'm doing right here is I'm adding tape to the interior of this uh, doghouse. What I'm gonna do is make a template for a pad that goes inside of it. And that pad will soundproof and make it really nice inside the RV when we're driving. Uh, when I'm using the tape, as you can see, I'm using small pieces. And this is just painter's tape. What I'm doing with the painter's tape, I'm going to coat the whole inside with tape. And the tape is going to be my template for my pad when I cut it out. Uh, I use little pieces of tape for the edges because I don't want them to buckle or curl. I want to be an exact duplicate of this uh, doghouse pattern. And after I use tape, I use this uh, packing tape. This keeps the tape all together. Um, also, I, I want to point out that I did not clean the uh, inside of this box. The reason is, is because I want it to be oily right now. I want to be able to remove this tape. If I can't remove the tape very well, then I'll probably lose my form. It'll peel away and destroy my tape template. You can see here corners that lift up. I'm using small pieces of tape and also around the edges too so that I can keep that shape when I pull this tape off. If you just use the painter's tape, it won't stay together very well. That's why I'm using this packing tape over it. I've seen people use uh, cardboard to make templates and stuff like that. This is just a way that I am comfortable making patterns. Right now I'm drawing a line to where I'm going to cut it out. And also, this technique I'm doing is something that I am familiar with. I do makeup effects and props as a hobby, and so I'm used to making things with foam and using duct tape and different types of tape as templates. I'm using a brand new blade here. That's so that I don't um, catch the tape and peel it away. And also, uh, I am scoring the fiberglass underneath this tape just a little bit. And that's so that I can know where exactly to put my template when I put it back on. And as you can see, it peels up really easy. And it's because I didn't clean the oils off of the interior of this uh, camper engine compartment piece. So there you go. There's the first one off. Went off really nice. And the second one comes off pretty well too. And if it does catch, you know, just take your time like I am and go the other way and see if you can pull it away. You might need to take your blade and, and cut some of the tape if it didn't totally uh, get cut off when you first did it, as I'm doing here. Just slowly be patient. No hurry here. You want it off really nice and you want to keep a good piece. And I scored the top and bottom of the sides too because I want to take them off and keep them intact. Careful with your edges. There's a nice piece right there. And then the next one comes off pretty easy too. Uh, there's all my templates. Now I'm using a talcum powder to get the stickiness off of the back of that tape. If you don't want to use talcum powder, you can use you know, cornstarch or flour, whatever you want to use. Brush the powder so it coats the whole thing really well. There are my pieces ready to go. Now I'm going to clean the interior. As you can see, I'm using acetone here. It breaks away the oil really well. Uh, to the right side of the screen is my door bay of my garage. It's open. So my room is well ventilated and I have gloves on. Also a mask and eye protection. Make sure you clean it really well. You can use denatured alcohol if you want. Now I'm relaxing all those curves that lift up. And I'm just cutting and making sure they lay down. I'm using my hand to make sure that I don't need to put extra cuts because it didn't lay down flat. This is also called relaxing. You're relaxing the piece so that you can get a flat cut. And then when you insert it in, it fits the contour of that piece really well. 
that piece is all flat. Now I'll do one of these pieces to show you how it works. I'm going to the highest area first and I'm going to cut that first and then I'll lay the rest down. Take it all the way down to the edge where it looks like the bottom. There you go. And then I'll take my hand. I'll make sure it flattens out really nice. And that doesn't flatten out. So I'm going to throw another cut right there and and one more since that side doesn't lift very well. It doesn't hurt to do a cut even if you're not sure because it'll fit better. This is the hood liner they call it. It's a uh, nice and thick foam and it's got a nice silver finish on one side and then the other side is sticky. Now I'm drawing my templates with a sharpie. Uh, I always say to myself trust your template. You know I could have used that edge to uh, make the nice clean edge for my uh, piece but my piece wasn't straight the way it was cut so obviously I'm using my template and I'm trusting my cuts. There's one piece done and then I'll trace out the other one too. Make sure I do a good job. Then I found these were kind of crazy big and floppy so I decided to pin them down so I make sure they don't move on me and then I disrupt my uh, pattern by not being able to cut it clean enough. As you can see there's little areas where they need to be uh, cut out which is the parts we relaxed. You'll have little V spots where when you set it into the uh, inside of the RV compartment you'll see that it helps it to fit clean and easy and people that sew know these kind of things so if you're a sewer this is probably very familiar to you. And I like this uh, stuff because a scissor cuts it out really nice. Here I am cutting all my little V's out again and my little slits so that I can get it to uh, fit in my compartment really nice. All right, there's all my templates. I'm ready to go. First thing I always like to do is do a fit. I didn't peel the tape off yet on the back. I'm looking at my score lines so I match it up right and make sure it fits nicely. As you can see when it's pushed in those little V's suck up close and it fits really nice. First of all I will match it to the edged corner there as you can see and if you don't touch the edges they will slip in and you'll be able to push it in nicely as I am doing right here. And if you have to lift a piece up, lift it up and then press it down again so everything sits flat and flush. Now I'm fitting the second piece as you can see there. It's important to make sure that what you have fits and you're not doing them backwards. And that looks like it fits really good. I'll go ahead and now put that one on. And I hit the corner first, make sure. It's kind of my guide. And then you just lay that whole middle edge down as best you can. And if it doesn't fit perfectly tight, that's okay because I'll show you what I do later to close up all the gaps. There we go. Now I'm fitting this side. Make sure it fits how I like it. And it does, of course, because I went by my template. If you don't modify your template, if you don't modify your cutting, obviously the template will take care of itself. Okay, now I'm sucking it down on the edge first uh, ne next to it. I'm not worrying about the exterior edge because I want to make sure that it fits right along the edge of the previous padding that I glued down. And as you can see I'm pushing it in those corners and it fits really nice. Just like that. Now I'm fitting the other one. Yep, looks good. Now peeling it up. Again, I'm putting it next to the edge, making sure it fits the edge interior. I don't care about the exterior edge right now. I just want to make sure that it's snug against the main compartment pieces that I've already applied. And then I work my way around and then I work my way out and press it down like I am right there. 
just like that. And as you can see, I didn't put anything overlapping towards the carpet exterior because I want to make sure that I have a good seal when it closes. Now I'm using this silver tape to clean up my edges. And this silver tape will be a nice ending to the uh, sealing up the compartment so that it's soundproof and, and all the pieces stay tight and taut together. Start with the tape, slowly remove the back of it. This tape is really finicky. If you aren't careful, it will stick to itself and you won't get it apart. So you just have to be very careful when you lay it down. Now for the edges, I want to press them up and hold them nice and tight together. And this keeps your whole compartment really um, together. So if something does peel away, the whole thing kind of holds itself together better. And I'm using little pieces here because I want to make sure that it's tight. And a little bit on the edges too if need be. There we go. So now my seams are all tightened up and the whole piece looks really nice and it's ready to put back in my RV. Now I should have a quieter ride. Thanks for watching.